Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, September 4th. You're here at the Chaos DEI, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group. Glad to see everybody here. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, minutes are in the chat, but of course we can always put them again if we need them. Uh, and of course, quick reminder, this is under the Chaos Code of Conduct, so keep that in mind. We are trying something new today. Um, it is the first Wednesday of the month. So we decided a couple of weeks ago that we would take this day and uh, offer it, offer some space for folks who um, are struggling maybe with the DEI.md file or have questions about project badging, anything like that. So we are carving out the second half of the of the meeting for that. If we don't have anybody come, that's fine. This is the first time we've done it. I just posted it on LinkedIn this morning. So, <laughs> cause I realized I forgot to do that yesterday. So uh, it, yeah, it might take a few, a few months to get people here, but we'll keep um, promoting it and encouraging folks to show up and, you know, hopefully we can help them move off of zero and get started. Uh, if you have not added your name and would like to do so, let us know how your, how your week is going. Looks like people are, are doing pretty well so far. It is Wednesday, so you're almost there. Um, let's jump into this first half then. I wanted to bring this up um, from the, this came out of the community meeting. I don't think Gay works here. Um, or Anita, Mary Blessing is on the Chaos Code of Conduct team too. So Mary Blessing, if you wanna jump in, you're totally fine. Um, just wanted to bring this back around to people um, because I think the Code of Conduct team is hoping to publish soon in the next few weeks. So I uh, wanted to just bring this top of mind for you. If you've not taken a look at these documents, please do so. Add your feedback. Um, we want to make sure it is a community uh, community effort and that everybody has a chance to have a voice in, as we draft these documents. So Mary Blessing, do you want to add anything to that? Uh, not that all. Okay, fair enough. Lucy is, of course, snoring in the background as well. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, I. Uh, it, oh, sorry. Any questions, comments about that before we move on? It sounds like it's wrapping up soon-ish. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Yeah. The next few weeks, like it's like this is the final stretch. So now is your chance. Speak now, forever hold your peace, kind of thing. Okay. Uh, I did leave space here just in case Eddie Inka was here, which she is. Um, Eddie Inka, do you want to give us just a quick update on how event badging's going? If we've, um, you know, had any feedback on the new metric, just how's it going? No big. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me clearly? Yep. Great. Okay. So just a um, few updates. Uh, so since the launch of the budget 4.0, where we have three new metrics added to the impensing event, we've had seven uh, events applied for budget, and um, three out of uh, so all of this event um, didn't have a problem answering the questions for event location inclusivity and event accessibility, but um, we only have three out of seven having participated in the um, public aid pledge budget program. And uh, that means that four were not able to um, answer to the public aid um, and safety metrics. So one event said they are not comfortable with the phrasing on the um, public health, uh, pledge uh, website and so they would not be going for that and then another they didn't go into details what that was about um then another event said that they don't have the resources to meet the requirement that is being asked of them on the budget um ph pledge budget program website so but the other four, the other three, rather, uh, uh, all of them actually uh, applied for the PH pledge badging, but um, none of them were able to get their badges immediately. So they couldn't answer the link to their badges. So far, no questions. 
I think um, what I would conclude from that is that um, people are just warming up to the metrics for the public health and safety. We might want to discuss about I I I I don't I've not checked the the website for the PH pledge, but we might want to discuss what it entails and how we can make it more. Um, should I say comfortable and accessible for for the events that apply for our budget program? I'm taking a look at it right now. So, did you say that a couple people they applied for the public health badge, but they didn't get it in time? Is that right? So they applied for it, but. Um, they didn't. They haven't gotten the badges. The badges were not available for them. I see. So were they? Does that mean their application wasn't reviewed, or it was reviewed, but they didn't have a badge? Um, so what they said was that the result isn't out yet. Okay. But they have links to the website for the public health. Um, the, the links to the website where we can actually check what they have on public health and safety. Okay. So I think um, the folks who run this badging effort um, had a lot of interest right up front and then interest kind of waned. And then I think us implementing this metric in our badging has brought more attention back to it. Mm -hmm. I did see a few posts on LinkedIn about how they are re uh, reviving, I guess, the team that looks at the badges here. Um, so I, I think maybe they'll be quicker in the future, I would guess. Um, I would guess that's what's happening right here. I, maybe there's a way we can, on our application, just say, did you apply and just leave it at that? Or have you read this? You yeah, know, honestly, it's got to be that because I, I'm, I like that. Like, just have you at least visited this page? Or yeah. We encourage you to visit this page and just consider. Isn't that kind of what we're doing now anyway? What are we asking? Are we saying you must be badged in order to? No, no we just ask if you have been badged. Look, send us a link. Um, but we can let's look at our exact wording here, see what we can do. Because I am I am hesitant when our badging, which works so well. Uh, apply, uh, um, is like contingent on a different program that we don't have control over. Also, their their uh, project is a lot newer than ours as well, so they haven't really had the chance to. So we just say, have you participated? Provide a link. Provide a link to this information on your event website. Those are the three things we ask. So maybe we could say, have you taken a look? <laughs> yeah. Instead of participating, maybe have you reviewed? Yeah. Or even have you applied? Maybe we just care that they apply. I would be happy if they just even visit the website. Yeah. yeah. Um, Arinka, what do you think? Do you think that would be helpful if we um, just ask if they have seen it? So it depends on what we are trying to achieve with that metric. Um, can you, you can just take a look at something and really not if, um, apply it to your event. So I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, depending on what we are trying to achieve. I'm we want that, them. Yeah, go ahead, please. There are the, to that point there, if you go back to our application, so maybe Arinika, we could follow up with like the questions below. So like it would be, have you viewed it? And then it could be like, describe what you have done for your event to implement. Mm -hmm suggestions that have come from this review. Okay. And your point is well taken. Like, <laughs> you know, if I just, if I evaluated my students, like on whether they looked at things, <laughs> like, <they>, everybody <laughs> did really well. <laughs> 
Should we, um, so is this what you're saying, Matt? Just ask what they've done to address public health and safety for their event? Yeah, and they could say, I have applied, or they could say, we have added some stuff about like vaccinations or something like yeah. that, you know? So if they say, no, I haven't seen the pledge, but they are still doing things, that's okay, I think, right? Yeah, we'll have to go take a look at, with number two, they'll be forced to go look at number one. True. Uh, oh, <laughs> whether that based on this, based on information. From the PA pledge. Yeah. And then, then provide a link, which they're already doing. With this information. Mm -hmm. We're already asking that. Yeah. Would that help, Arinjenka? Yes, I think. Um, because um, one event organizer actually stated that um, while they are, didn't um, apply for the PH pledge, they've done some things with regards to public health and safety, and they were able to go into detail. Yeah. So I think this works. Yeah, because then, then we're like, they don't get like tripped up if they don't actually receive a badge from yeah. the public health review because um like how long do our reviews take typically from application to badge like a week two weeks mm. Yeah, usually on the average, let's say um, two weeks, okay. depending on um, how fast the reviewers can get to review. Mm -hmm. And um, it also depends on whether we are out. Um, yep. Yes, because um, this last time I, I, I have an event that is sitting there for like a month now. In fact, I will have to do something about it myself, but that's because we went on a break. Okay. And I didn't want to be contacting reviewers while on break, so. Yep. But um, on I the could, average, that's the two weeks. Two weeks. Because I could see, like, if somebody applies and we're trying to get it done in two weeks, that the PH pledge did, does not get it done in two weeks. And we shouldn't have to wait. So that's why I like what you just typed, Elizabeth. Like, just have you gone and taken a look at this info? Describe what you've done with respect to that info, and then provide a link to your site, your event site, just describing that, describing that to your attendees. Yeah, I like that too. And then they can also say, yeah, I've seen it, but you know, hey, we're not doing anything. <laughs> and they still like, at least they're doing, like they've done something to go look at it, you know? Yeah. Do others have comments, thoughts on this? Is that does that seem reasonable to everybody? How hard is that to make the change in that form? Um, I don't I don't think it's that hard. I can do that. I think it's just on the website. I can just change the word. Since we aren't adding a field here yeah. or we aren't, you know, doing anything with the actual data, we're just um, instead of providing a link to badges, we'll just ask them to describe and then this is how you have you seen so we're just changing just changing this middle one really and um and then one. the criteria down below uh yeah have participated yeah so that will need to change here and also in the the, the pop-up uh checklist for folks um let me just look real quick if you all can bear with yeah, me let's take a look while we're here I just want to see. Um, let's look at one of these. Let's look at this one. Uh, yeah, so this checklist asks these three things. So we'll have to change this. Okay, but that will just like change in accordance with. Yeah. Okay like with the website those will just be the same basically yeah so then the check will go here under public health and safety yeah so this just these two checks 
So instead of this, we will have to make the checklist say have um, viewed, have, read, mm -hmm. have considered, considered. Yeah, yeah. So really, they're they're still only not getting one check if they don't want to even do anything with the public health pledge badge. They're just not getting that one check out of the whole list of checks. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's just, for me, it's just being, or having our process reliant on another process. Mm -hmm. That's fair, yeah. Like, would I encourage everybody to participate in it? Yeah, for sure. I think it's just those are the only two places, but we can test that. Test okay. that. okay. Cool. To me, this is still, it's encouraging, like the work that those folks have done. Like we're using the uh, event, our, the chaos event batching platform to encourage people to take a look at this mm -hmm. and to consider this. So we're, we're doing, I think, a good job in trying to help foster that connection, but we can just only take that so far. Agreed. Adienka, and you think that'll be that'll be enough? That'll be okay? Yes, I think that's okay. That's okay. Okay. And um, before I go, I would actually like to do a shout out to Oye Mowo. Um, she's been one of our very detailed um, reviewer and have really done good work, especially with the public health and safety. Always asking the organizers um, further questions if um, they just kind of skipped it, you know, and um, I think it's worthy of um, acknowledging. Definitely. Awesome. Adienka, one quick thing too, I wanted to let you know, which I don't think I have. I think it was last week, last week. Yeah, um, we were talking about how we wanted to make that um, badging application process smoother. Like that was kind of on the on the list from before and then it got put aside while we added these new metrics and all of that stuff. Um, Inex said that there are some design templates already built to make that process smoother for applicants. So we were going to um, see if you wanted to maybe bring the the devs from your uh, okay. devs group in and like start talking about that because I think that the now that the metrics are done and the new website is all done like I think we can mm. now start that if they want if you want. Okay, so that everything is done on the event budget website right yeah yeah okay. Okay. Yeah, so if we wanted to, you know, make because right now, you know how the process is really clunky and not smooth is it still requires them to copy and open a new issue and things um, definitely could make that a little bit smoother somehow. I understand that. Okay, we'll work on it. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the update too. That was great. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, next on our list, chaos. We just have some updates from the chaos project itself because I know some folks come here and don't come to any other um, meetings. So I just wanted to let everybody know that we are probably going to be merging metrics development and metrics models working groups. Uh, still TBD on what day that will land, but um, if you are interested, it's a little bit easier for you to attend, I guess, um, maybe if it's just one meeting instead of two. Uh, so that's happening. Um, we do have a new channel for government open source. If anybody's in that space and wants to join, it's right here. That's a Slack channel. No meetings or anything on that, just a Slack channel for now. What is the focus on that? I mean, other than government, which is obvious, but what specifically with government and open source? I think Sean, who is not here anymore. Um, I think just to talk about their specific needs and limitations 
Um, there has been, I guess, a private channel going on with some folks from the US government um, and some chaos folks, but like they have very uh, limiting ways on which they can communicate publicly. So um, we started this channel too, just to kind of bring people together. Does that make sense? So it's open source within government, um, OSPOs mostly, um, but like Remy de Cosmaker, who works um, on the, um, actually don't know what his team is, but maybe Matt knows. Uh, HHS, Human Health and Safety. And then we're also talking to Michael Downey at the UN, because there are a number of member states who are interested in how open source can play a role in the work that they do. So I think there's just, it's trying to be there and be ready as people are having these discussions. Oh, is that where the UN for good, the sustainability development goals is going to uh, land that W? Yeah, it may. Yeah, I, I think so. The, um, that's the stuff that David Lippert, I think, is going to lead. But we may end up renaming this because I think the universities have an interest also in those goals, you know, not just government. But yeah, I think this is kind of where we're headed with this. So it's both for people working within the government dealing with open source, as well as people who interact or wish to interact with the government and that open would, source? Yes, that would make sense. Especially okay. like when we have things like um, uh, like CISA and the cascading effects of that. Yeah, very <laughs> so, familiar with that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> By the way, just on that topic, uh, Espamarama is next week. I can post that in the government channel. I saw that. Perfect. There we go. I love that name too. That's Bama Rama. <laughs> so yeah, if if you want to join that, Ria, there's a link, or you can search on the Slack and find it. I think I'm already joined. So awesome. thank you for the hint. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, we have just barely started planning um, ChaosCon EU, which will happen likely before FOSTEM. In Brussels again, as we have done in the past, um, we're thinking probably two days before FOSTEM starts because there's other uh, other events that happen the day before FOSTEM. So we're trying to get a get ahead of that <laughs> and not conflict with things. Um, tentatively, January 30th. Yep, yeah, just like it's in chat. Um, they haven't announced anything, but I believe that they're <laughs> Chaos Arama. I love it. Yes, we should change Chaos Gun to Chaos Arama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, so anyway, just want to know that that's happening. Um, and then just shout out to Peculiar and Niga who are working on updating all of our metrics to a brand new template that will be a little bit uh, more concise and clean. And we've talked about it a little bit here, but just want to let everybody know that that's in the works. So any questions on any of those kind of updating things? I'm looking to see, I don't see anyone here that I think would want to talk about DEI.MD, but if you are that person, raise your hand and we will stop here and let you have a minute. If not, we'll just keep going. Or you can raise your hand at any time. Um, okay, we'll just kind of keep going then until that happens. Um, we, uh, oh, see you, Ria, see ya. See ya. Um, just in case folks haven't heard, we are hosting a half day virtual workshop on Grace Hopper Open Source Day on October 4th. Here's the schedule if you're interested. I know several of us are, several of people in this meeting right now are helping out with that meeting, so, um, or that workshop. So thank you to those folks. Um, they are sending around some invites for informational sessions on like how that's going to go and such. I don't know. Um, but you should have gotten an, an invite. I think they sent them out. I actually need to make sure that we had some other folks join after we uh, finalized our schedule. So I wanna make sure those folks are joined. So I'll, I'll take care of that. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud right now. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Is it a day or a half day? It's a half day, but it's it's late in the day. Um, here's the schedule we sent. So it's- Oh, I see. Okay. Noon. Yeah. Um, and these were set by Grace Hopper and mm -hmm. We have given them that feedback that our poor European folks are going to be, it's very late for them. Okay. So poor Santi, <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to go, um, but we have, yeah, quite a few folks who are showing up just to help help out and, and uh, make sure people can find their way. Okay. 
So do it'll we, be, sorry, go ahead. Well, um, do we try to interact with people who participate in this, in this event, in the half day, or is it just kind of informational for people? Like what is, the, what are the goals here? So the beginning I think is informational. Uh, mm -hmm. It's this afternoon or after the break part where there's actually, I think supposed to be some hands-on stuff going on. Okay. I'm not sure what that looks like yet. I don't know that Sean and, and Santi, know, Santi know what that looks like yet. Um, but it is meant to be more of a hands-on and like this wrap up and next steps, we're hoping to bring them into chaos now. Like you've okay. seen their stuff, you kind of heard about it, you've tested, maybe tested the waters a little, now come join us. Um, so that's okay. kind of what that's about. Yeah. It's just because like it, like I think of like the mentoring programs that we do, like it's all, there's always a hope that the people that you're working yeah. with would stick around for a little bit. Yeah. So that's, I think, um, uh, the goals, at least that's my goal. I don't know if that's everybody else's goal, but that's my goal. Okay. Do you know how many people attend these? I don't actually. I don't know. Um, we haven't we haven't gotten that information. I will ask. I'll ask Paula about that. That's a good question. You remember what mm. like, you did this last year, didn't you? No, I didn't. I don't know oh. if maybe Sean did, but I I was not involved in it. So. Yeah. But is it all is it all virtual it is well this part is yeah the grace hopper itself is in person mm -hmm. um, but this this part the open source day i believe is is virtual okay i think i don't know it's it was kind of actually a little bit hard to find information on the open source day in particular because i was trying to find the place where everything was shown um, you know, we sent them this this Google Doc of here's our schedule, mm -hmm. and then I know I don't know where that is. <laughs> like I can't find it on their website anywhere. I can't find it. So okay. uh, that's actually another question I'm going to ask. Where's our stuff? Where's our stuff? Because <laughs> that's really what I wanted to link to in case people wanted to sign up for it. You know, just to to attend um, yep. if anything else, but I couldn't find it. So. Because I would really like to promote it, you know, through our social media and things, but I, I see don't know where it is. 2023. Yeah, right. Like it's maybe it's not up yet, but it seems kind of, yeah. Isn't it soon? <laughs> yeah. Like, right? like a few weeks, a month. Okay. So I'll track that down. Paula's been super help, helpful, like awesome, awesome, awesome. So thankfully we have her <laughs> to go to. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so I will just share these reminders really quick and then um, if we have time at the end, we can talk about this if we want. Uh, just reminders for people who haven't heard this stuff send podcast ideas to podcast email. Um, if you want us to help you share news of something that maybe your group is working on I know we have folks in this meeting that also are in a, a other working groups, so if there's something going on there and you want to share with the chaos community, just let the comms team know. And we'll help you do that. You can nominate somebody for Chaotic of the Week if you see somebody doing something awesome and you would like us to highlight them for the week. We will be happy to do that. Uh, we also have an education repo. If you're if you're giving a talk about chaos uh, or even getting into open source, anything like that, um, you can add your slides to that repo as well. And we have a calendar too if you're giving a talk somewhere and you want us to help you promote that. Um, just again, send the comms team a note. And then we have this um, issue template, which we, we um, highlighted last week, but there is a template now that you can use. If you're giving us some community contributions, which equates to contributions you're, you're providing chaos that do not show up in a PR. So facilitating a meeting, um, you know, co collaborating on a Google Doc somewhere, any of those kinds of things, those all count. So you would just uh, open a new issue there's a template right here and we can, um, you would just fill this out and then submit it and it will add you automatically to this file, which we have right here of community contributions. Here is a list of all the types of contributions. 
and then it'll just add you at the end here. Um, so don't forget to do that. If you are doing any of these things, don't forget to do that, which is a nice, lovely segue into our next topic, which is this types of contribution metric, which we reference. We talked about in the community meeting yesterday that this list right here, which is the same list you'll find if you open an issue in that template, is long, <laughs> it's long and, and um, kind of rambly, uh, but it's taken straight from the types of contribution metric that we have. So there was some talk yesterday about taking this list and making it smaller and maybe just lumping some of these things together in a little bit, uh, a little bit better way, because um, this list is just kind of rambly and not listed in any order. It's just a list of things. So that was on my list. If we if something we do have time and the brain power to do today, we want to revisit that metric and try to consolidate those um, categories. That will be probably helpful for everybody, chaos included. So thoughts on that? Yeah, um, I was in that meeting yesterday and I didn't say this then, but like, I don't, this, I don't really see a huge problem <laughs> with the list as it is. I remember, remember when we spent time trying to think about all the different ways that people could contribute and it's not that hard to read to me. Um, and, do we know that it's an actual blocker for people to actually submit things? I just don't want to add work if we don't need to. That's totally valid and fair. We we don't know that it is a blocker. Um, that was the feedback that uh, was mentioned yesterday that it seemed like a blocker, but we don't have any data to say that it yes, in fact, it is a blocker. Um, because on the for those who didn't notice this, the on the um, issue that is not the issue, wherever that was. Uh, and the issue template, this is in alphabetical order. So at least, <laughs> at least it's a little bit better that way. Um, right here it is. And it's, it goes down below where my screen is being shared, but yeah. Um, would it, Matt, do you think it would be helpful to to like, okay, community building and management, and then put in parentheses, example, um, facilitating a meeting, whatever else on here fits into community building. It does meeting. seem like we should just add facilitating a meeting to this list. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, a, is it in our metric even? Let's no. find out here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, should. Accessibility, like, I don't know if I'm having accessibility as part of, because like we've had like some, contributions as regards accessibility so where does that fall under so we have um i can't i click on the right dang thing where'd it go here it is um we have oh i thought it was on here because it's in our is that not listed under here no, it isn't. We do have that. Um, people have listed that in a meeting or in a meeting in a um, <laughs> oh God, my brain today um, in the doc in the community doc that we have people have listed that so we should add that to the list. That's what I'm saying here. Here we go. Okay, I'll get there. Community contributions. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so accessibility we just put in here um, but it's not on the list so we should i don't know is user interface on the list either are these just typed in back in the mm -hmm. like yeah the, there yeah. was a drop down yeah i don't even see oh yeah user interface. okay there it is yeah so this is just was typed in yeah okay. accessibility is in that user interface user experience and accessibility I mean, it's kind of overloaded there's a lot there but a lot. So would it help if we maybe, um, for the sake of, 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can just kind of lump these together a little more. I don't, I don't know. We could. But if I, back in the day, the point of this metric was that there are a lot of different ways that you can contribute. That's fair. Yeah. Are a lot of ways to contribute. Hmm. Okay. That was that was that was my only reaction when we were talking about this yesterday. Like my own personal reaction. But that was that was everything we were trying to overcome was that it's not just code contributions. I think that's super valid. What do others think? Do we think that this is um, too much? Uh, well, uh, I think this all these different areas really apply to what we do at Chaos, like different things that people could do, right? So, um. I think it's okay. Um, I don't know if somebody gives legal counsel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like it, it does apply to what different ways people could contribute, and I think it's okay. Non code ways, actually. Yeah, I think it's okay. In my opinion. Are code contributions in here? It's no, you can't see it. It just says writing code not submitted in a PR. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. It should be at least originally contributions that are not captured. Um, you know, to right. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's think about it. It's certainly not something that's urgent that we fix or not fix that we decide on, we can just, maybe we just see how it goes. And if we get feedback yeah. from that's like, ah, oh, that list was too long. I didn't, I didn't even want to fill that in. Yeah. Then okay. like changing everything. Yeah. Fair enough. We're going to make it even longer because we're going to add facilitating. <laughs> so, ah. I always argue for doing less, so. <laughs> Not always, but often. Cool. And just so everybody knows too, yesterday we did talk about all like some of the concerns with this system and we know it's not perfect. Like we know that, um, you know, this list is going to get really, really long someday, hopefully anyway, hopefully it does. And that it is based on like a, an opt in so you are like kind of self opting yourself in and, and promoting yourself and your own contributions. Um, so you know it's not perfect for sure but it's start so we'll see how it goes. Has anybody filled this in I guess maybe nobody really but me and Sean have used this new system. But um, oh another thing it doesn't do is it, it kind of makes everything on the same level so like <laughs> alice put you know pr producing and co-hosting podcasts like that's so much work is <laughs> so much work and yeah it just gets one little line so like we need to sort that out too of just you know how we more accurately represent the effort that was <laughs> taken to to do that um we just have a, an effort drop down yeah medium and high <laughs> Right, like the whole what is that T-shirt side thing using waterfall or agile or something? Uh, yeah, this is a small, medium, large. Okay, we'll work on it. Anything else that we want to talk about? We have four four little minutes left. Again, we'll keep promoting this DI.ND stuff. No, I'm good. I think we're good. All right. All right. Well, everybody have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you here next week. Same time, same place. Bye. Have a good day.